Hey, what is up guys? Today um, we're going to be taking a look at a computer that I'm selling. Now this is an Acer and I know that most people think that Acers are pretty cheap um, laptops and for the most part they are, I'm not going to lie. But this one, I have to say, is a first that I've ever seen of its kind. It's a very good laptop and the reason why it's because it is an Acer Iconia 6120 dual screen all touch, all touch screen laptop. It's going to feature two um, high definition 14 inch screens. The uh, resolution is 720p, and um, there's actually no physical buttons on this on this computer except for the power button, which is right here on the right, and the uh, the call up button. I don't know what, what to call that button, but it, it brings up like if your computer freezes, you hit this button, and it's like um, hitting Control Alt Delete. But it is a really cool laptop. I'll show you the bottom of it. This one is running Windows 7, and uh, I think I took all the stickers off. But as you can see here, we've got, it's got a really nice speaker system. This right here is going to be for the speakers. I think this is the base, and this right here is probably going to be your, your highs and mids. But it is a really nice premium laptop. Nothing like anything I've ever owned as far as, um, well, I guess in laptops in general. It's a really fast computer. It's running an i5 processor with um, 8 gigabytes of RAM. And like I said before, it's on Windows 7 operating system. So here, let's go ahead and turn it on. And as you can see, I've got, uh, I've got just for comparison, I've got my 17-inch um, HP DV7 Star Wars fan. And I've got my... Um, 15 inch MacBook Pro, which these two are both for sale, but this one is, I, I probably, I doubt I sell that. It's got a lot of my music software. Even though it's kind of old, it's still a really, really good computer. But anyway, let's see here. So I'll just show you this feature, just the login screen. And like I said, it's touch screen, so all you got to do is just, you can either use this keyboard down here, which is just a touch screen keyboard, or you can just touch the screen itself. So I'll just touch it. And here you see, I've already been logged on. So first thing, um, it's just you can see the two dual screens. On the bottom, I'm running my um, touch music. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and close it out. Just touch the X button. And now it's gonna be back on the web browser. And I'm gonna close that out so you can just see how it looks. And I've also got Social Jogger, which is a cool little feature that allows me to um, to go between like my YouTube channel, my Facebook, or the Flickr. All, all these things are pretty cool. But I'm still gonna close it out. Okay, so now you just see just a regular screen. And up top, I'm on Internet Explorer. I think I'm on Netflix. And I'll just show you one of the neat features. You can just um, to get through it. You can just get your finger and just touch it. And just slide it. Oh, I guess there's nothing else to you can see here. But yeah, that's pretty cool. But I'm going to close it so you can see what it looks like without the browsers or anything open. Yes, close all tabs. So this is what it looks like. You see down at the bottom, it's got the regular windows. I don't know if you can see that. It's too bright, but there's Internet Explorer, Mozilla. And your little browser folders. And like I said, it's all touch, so you can just touch on any of those. Let me hit the start button. And you'll see all the programs that it has. And you can just scroll them. But, um, so anyway, let me show you one of the, the main features about this, this computer. So what you can do is when you want to bring up something, it's got a, a, a sensor. That it senses when your hand touches like five fingers on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and touch all five fingers and it's going to bring up this really cool command prompt. So and you see, you can see there it's called, it's got a touch browser, which I'm going to touch, scroll down, it's got touch music, it has touch photo and touch video. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the touch browser first. Touch browser. And this feature is going to turn both screens into just one really big, I guess, 28-inch Internet browser, Internet Explorer browser. So there we go. 
and you can just um, just scroll it and it's going to be on both screens. I'm going to go real quick because so I'll go to um, close this out and bring up um, the other thing will be touch music. Oh, the battery's low. Anyway, let me just click on something real quick. So you see all the music. It's really cool. And the laptop gets really, really loud. Okay, close that out. I see that. Another thing I'm going to do is just a virtual keyboard. And you see, it just it turns the screen into just a regular keyboard. Turn up this volume because it's kind of loud so you guys can still hear me. And I mean, this operates just like a regular com computer keyboard and mouse. It's got the right clicker, little touchpad. Really cool. And another thing is, I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but if you just get both hands and you place it on the screen on the bottom, if you get both hands and place it on the screen on the bottom like this, not just the right hand, but both hands, it automatically brings up the keyboard. So there's a quick look at the Acer Iconia 6120. Hopefully the battery doesn't die. Um, Touchscreen laptops, two 14 inch 720p screens. Plus it has an i5 core processor with eight gigabytes of RAM. Okay, and there it just died. All right, thanks for looking. Oh, it also has a nice webcam right here. And I think it records in 1080p, so it's a really cool feature. All right, see you later.